for a little bit. Um, what did everybody in chat think? Yeah, what does everybody in the chat say? Um, people are excited for Zelda. Everyone, yes, yes. That looked good. Yes, but we've seen that. You know, we've seen oh, a lot right. of that already. The camera angles are giving random ga- random gamer number one a shadow of the Colossus feel. Yeah. That's because they're yeah. trying to get a sense of scale. They're really emphasizing the bigness of it all. The bigness. Yes. That's a that's an industry term. Yes. Uh, all right. Okay. So so, what do we got? We got one two switch, which yes. I, I'm guessing is going to be a pack in. I don't, be I don't know if it, on the thing. I don't know. If... There's not a lot on there. Yeah. And they need that every... I don't know, maybe it's a Space Raiders type of thing, where it's like... Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because, I mean, you need that Wii Sports, especially with something that's like... Something like this, yeah. Some, Because this is different. Yeah. You know, and you need to show them why... You need to show the average Joe why it matters to be different mm-hmm. like that. Um, so I'm going to guess one... Th- why do I have to guess anything? <laughs> I shouldn't have to guess anything right Look, now. Look, if they didn't say... Anything was specifically a pack, and then I don't think we're getting packing games. I don't. I, I don't think any of these games are going to be bundled with the system. They got to give us something. At launch. I. I. It. They would have said so. Or or you download it when you get make an account. They would no. They would have said that these are bundled games. AJ, help me out here. They would have said it was a. <laughs> yeah, bu- yeah. Yeah. I don't like. They that made at a point all. to say that with like Nintendo Land and with Wii Sports. Exactly. Yeah, so apparently guy number twenty says the Nintendo website crashed because everybody's trying to pre order it. Yeah. I gave a GameStop employee my fifty dollars and said Yeah please put this on the Nintendo Switch on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> so if you want the Nintendo Switch tomorrow you gotta get your ass up early and go to GameStop. Yeah. Because they are all gonna sell out of pre orders tomorrow. I yeah. guarantee that. Even though this was kind of lackluster. Yeah. And the uh, reason why it was lackluster is because we knew all that stuff was going to happen. It wasn't so much that we knew everything was going to happen. It was it was a very, you know, for all the, like, the fun that they were doing, it was a very like corporate um, event. That, that too. It was like they were very serious about it. They were very, you know, it was very business minded. I think like we're yeah. used to things like E3, which are very like, you know, flashy and pomp and circumstance and stuff. I think... They, if they didn't say anything, if we didn't see anything about that new Mario, yeah, we would have been. The problem is we saw oh, like part of it. Switches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the commercial we saw a little bit of it. That's why this didn't blow us away. I wonder if we're going to be able to play it. That's what I'm worried about. It says coming holiday. Oh, you mean at the like at the, uh, the event? For you. Yeah. I think <laughs> they're only going to have Breath of the Wild. No, I think that's it. No. I think he said. I think Reggie said you'll be able to play Breath of the Wild this weekend. That would suck if that's the only game you can yeah, play. Yeah, but I don't think he was talking about. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. We still. We I still don't. Know. We still don't know a lot. We still don't know anything about hard drive space. Um, if it right. takes SD cards. That's um, the technical specs. Yeah. Simone and Stig was. Are the games download only a cartridge? They are cartridge. They're, they're gonna be both. Assu- assumingly, you can download them. Yeah, I, there is a cartridge we saw from the commercial. Yeah. Nothing about 3DS backwards compatibility. What was that? I said, I wonder how big the games are going to be. Yeah. yeah. Skyrim's like a, what, a six gig game? I mean, well, it's a multiple discs on uh, Xbox? Uh, no, I think we confirmed it's not. Oh, okay. So, what is, what's a dual layer DVD? Eight. Yeah, so Skyrim's like eight gigs. Okay, I think that's funny for. Uh, well, how big is the 3DS game? I think it's only like two gigs. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it depends what it is. I think I think uh, Pokemon's like the biggest one. Pokemon um, Sun and Moon, and I think it's like four gigs or something like that. Somewhere around that. I don't know. Uh. That Mario game, there was a lot of detail packed into it, which is yeah. not normal for that art style. Yeah. That's why Super Mario uh, 3D World was so polished. Yeah. It didn't look particularly as... It still looked good, 
But certain things, like the realism of New York. Yeah, that that was weird. That was very weird. Especially with the real people. And, like, yeah. Super Mario 3D World was, like, bubbly. Be, yeah. Mm. Like, bubbly and, like... I don't know how you do real people in Mario. You don't know what? Like, and it look normal anyway. I said, I don't know how you do real people people in mario and they look normal anyway yeah like ah, i'm, yes. I'm really in sonic 06 territory yeah like that's that's what the vibe i'm getting from that they just shouldn't do mm -hmm. real people they should make everybody look like a, like a mario yeah. character because he's yeah. supposed to be an italian plumber he's supposed to be human yeah <laughs> right now he doesn't look like any of the other humans mm -hmm. that's weird i mean yeah. they're gonna justify it by saying like it's a different yeah. or something you know he's on an odyssey people look different in that country yeah. I don't know. They're like. There really wasn't anything aside from, you know, Odyssey that, like, you know, got me really, like, excited for it. We knew everything that was coming. Like, said. We got battery life. That was yeah. a big question. They said two and a half to six, yeah. to six hours. hours, which is two and a half is low. Yeah. My prediction for that, which is pretty much the only thing that I got right, I think, <laughs> was um, six hours uh, written written down six hours, four hours while playing the game. Yeah. And uh, real time, when you actually get the thing, would be three. Yeah. So three and a half to six hours is... Okay, two and a half to six hours is... Pretty you, you got the yeah. video up? That, yeah, I'm trying to pull it up. There's one thing that everybody was talking about that we didn't see, and that's Beyond Good and Evil. What happened to that? Yeah, yeah. that's a good point. I don't think we're ever going to see that game. I think it'll be late. I think <laughs> I think it... All right. So from the big third party of Game Real, we had Splatoon 2, Minecraft Story Mode, The Complete Adventure, Skylanders, Imaginators, Project Octopath Traveler, Octopath, um... That's the that was the weird Japanese yeah. one. Something mm. two for Nintendo Switch. Oh, that's the f Dragon Eight. No, Dragon Quest Heroes one and two. It's written in Japanese. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Rayman Legends Definitive Edition. Uh, Lego City Undercover. Uh, something else written in Japanese by Bandai Namco. Um, Xenoblade Two, Farming Simulator. Yeah. What's that Bomberman? There's a lot of things written in, written in Japanese. Who knows Japanese? Anybody? Somebody get one of Nintendo's translators. Yeah. Has there. Been Heroes, Elder Scrolls V, Project Sonic. Just Dance 2017. Yes. Uh, something 13. EA Sports FIFA, Siberia 3, 1-2 Switch, Super Bomberman R. Mm. Well, bomber man. Minecraft, regular Minecraft. I don't want R slash bomber man <laughs> Reddit. Um, There's nothing. There's nothing on Super. Rhyme that game. Rhyme that was supposed to be. I think a ex uh, Sony exclusive announced coming out to everything. Steep. Um, fast RMX. I would consider Steep on this. Yeah. I want to play that. And NBA 2K18. So we still don't know any launch titles. We know 1-2 Switch. 1-2 Switch, Zelda. Zelda. ARMS is coming out a little bit after launch. This, yeah, this is not... I don't know. Like That launch was in terms of volume, not that. Yeah, not that yeah. the volume of games is not... The, not good. Yeah, no. I need to know more about Bomberman. All those games that they flashed in that thing looked awesome. Yeah. They looked like there was some good stuff there. Why don't you tell me more of that stuff? I don't know. You know how long it's been since a Bomberman game? I think the last one was that 360 one. Yeah. That was yeah, garbage. Crash. Iridium Axel says the lack of Monster Hunter is disturbing. That's interesting. Yeah. I don't know if that... that I don't know if that would be a launch. Probably not That's a launch, That's something that yeah. they're going to develop for a long time, yeah. probably. Can you burp that way? <laughs> Ugh, sorry. I had, I'm, like, sucking in your burp. I had Chinese food for dinner. Um, 
Yeah, no, like... There's, they, they gave us nothing. I mean, they gave us some things, but they didn't give us enough. Connor writes says, Connor, uh, yeah. Skylanders Imagineers has been announced. Okay. So why didn't they say that? That's kind of a big deal. Yeah, they didn't really give us any... Anything. You know, aside from the handful of games. Let me see if Nintendo's website is still down. We, we also didn't get... Uh, Screen resolution was a big deal. Yeah, we don't have screen resolution. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see Nintendo saying like numbers like that. Like they're yeah. not going to 1080p. I I can't see coming out of Nintendo's mouth. Right. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, tech specs. No, but they said battery life, but I guess that's like a common one that people would be interested in. Right. But you know, we still should have gotten like memory. Memory, yeah, memory yeah. is yeah. important. Or like SD cards. Yeah, give me something. Is it going to come with an SD card? They said it was a touchscreen. Yes, the Got capacitive that. touch specifically. Wait, capacitive touch. Yeah, capacitive touch. That's Let, not multi-touch. But that is multi-touch. Is it? Uh, yeah. Right. Wait. I don't think yeah, it is. Yeah, resistive. Resistive is with the uh, stylus. Capacitive. Oh, okay. It is like. I can smell your Chinese food. <laughs> I can smell it. In an electrical engineering, capacitive sensing is a technology based on captive coupling that can detect and measure anything that is conductive or... Okay. Digital audio players, mobile phones, tablet computers use capacitive sensing touchscreens inputs. Touchscreen inputs, okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is, this is multi-touch. Alright, just look, just... Uh, control F iPhone. <laughs> no, we're fine. I, I believe it. Okay. So it's a it's a touch screen. It's still but you know that doesn't mean multi touch. It just means that you can use your finger. It does mean multi touch? That's what capacitive means. No, not necessarily. I mean, yeah, compa compa it's not like uh, mutually exclusive. Like it can be. It just means that you don't need a stylus, but not multi touch. Yeah. But why would you have capacitive touch and not do multi-touch? Because it's, it, maybe it's cheaper. Maybe, why would you have a stylus in 2013 when the 3DS came out? Yeah, because Nintendo makes <laughs> bad decisions. I know, that's, these are things that, and these I'm, are questions that we have to raise. I'm honest, I'm going to be honest with you. Switches looks like there's going to be a lot of bad decisions in this. Yeah. Okay, I mean, yeah, it's all cool that Skyrim's coming and that Zelda's going to be a launch well, no. title. Well, It doesn't look like they've made many bad decisions yet. Yet. Because it, it, our disappointment is just that we knew this stuff already. Our disappointment yeah. is, that, is that this was lackluster because we knew about it already and we knew we were right about a lot of things, you know? Right. And that the price, people were guessing, was lower than what it actually is. You can is. still do yeah. surprising things with stuff you already know, and I don't think they did that no. here. No, you can only do surprising things with things you don't already know. You can only do surprising things... You have to have something that we didn't know. Right. That, otherwise, it's not a surprise. <laughs> you you, you need... know we didn't know? We didn't know about arms. We, we didn't know, we about, didn't know arms. about arms. <laughs> we did not know right, about arms. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, <laughs> Maybe they were hoping that ARMS was going to be the one. They were like, this yeah, is the one, guys. This is it, guys. This is the Splatoon of the, of the Switch. Yep. Splatoon 2. That, that was, yeah, yeah, I was about to say. Splatoon that was a 2. surprise, because yeah. I thought that was just going to be a port. Yeah. No, you got to say it like this, Splatoon 2. We didn't see Mario Kart either. We, yeah, we, we saw, saw like, a little bit of it. That's another thing. That was in the that was in the little little slideshow that they had. But if they would have just said, I saw it, Mario Kart Eight Deluxe. Yeah, that's Mario what, Kart Eight Deluxe. That's what the uh, what's it called? Uh, or Chan rumors are saying. Yeah, it's called Mario Kart Eight Deluxe or D. Uh, f we have prices for the controllers. The Switch Pro controller is seventy dollars. And the Joy-Con controllers, it's a two, you get both of them in a pack, $80. Wow. Because that picture has it's both. Bundled. You get, a, you get a set of 
uh, Joy Carnell and Joy Carnar. Both of them together, $80. That was a Wii remote right there. Yeah. yeah. An extra set or two of Joy Wow. Wow. I, there's a lot of stuff. I don't even think Xbox One and PS4 controllers cost no, they $70. No. Well, I think retail they do, but they the usually sell for 65 or 60 From uh, Microsoft. I think I think the colored uh, PlayStation controllers cost seventy. Yeah, individual Joy-Con L and Joy-Con R controllers are fifty dollars, and the little grip is thirty dollars. I just don't see why would you just buy one? I guess like if you lose one, maybe this is. <sighs> yeah, I mean if you lose or break one, I guess. maybe if you really want the left controller in black and the right controller in red, it's like a nunchuck. Yes. Some games only gonna need one. That's yeah. That's really expensive. Bomberman Man R for Switch. I think it's interesting that they're packing the blue and red controllers together. Yeah. That's super weird. They're gonna get annoyed. I'm amped about that Bomberman. Man. Yeah. I need more <laughs> info about that Bomberman. Man. <laughs> That was the most exciting thing about this whole thing was that Bomberman. Yeah. Wow, more exciting than than arms. Nothing you is more exciting arms, than arms. Guys. FIFA. I'm posting screenshots of the humans in uh <laughs> in in Mario. But no, seriously, I'm still pretty excited for Switch. I still want it. No, I'm still going to get it. I'm still amped for it. Because the thing is, it's still a really interesting piece of hardware. And it's going to have great games. It's yeah. just that... This is a bad press conference. This is a bad press conference, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should have stuck to the directs. Yeah. DualShock 4 controller standard is 60 bucks. People in the chat saying you can get it for 50 What? DualShock 4 is 60 yeah. Yeah, the black one. The black one. Oh, but the red one's on sale for fifty-five. I think retail MSRP it's seventy. Yeah. Oh yeah, right here. Uh, it's sixty-five MSRP. You shouldn't spend more money on a controller than you do a game. I'm sorry. Yeah, no. That's a big, big, the same big as a pet peeve. Everything mine. should pretty much cost the same as a game. How much do you think the subscription is going to be? Play online, which is also ridiculous. They if, can't go more than sixty dollars. Yeah, if they it's can't. if it's any more than Xbox Live or PS Plus, then they're they're gonna lose a whole lot of sales. Especially if they don't have like some type of free game like arm to it, which they're probably not gonna do, knowing Nintendo. Yeah, I'm not. shocked that they have a share button on the controller. Yeah, I am too. I did not think that was gonna yeah. happen. Also, they didn't talk about Virtual Console at all. No, no. that would have that would also been good. Yeah. I, I feel like normal people don't care about that. But that's very important. Most people would care about if they said Smash Brothers Melee and yeah, like yeah. Mario Kart and stuff like that. Or or three. Yeah. No, that like that's something that they don't yeah. want to say because they want people to keep buying 3DS games. But I don't see that. Don't like Virtual Console is important. Like that's a you know that's a whole lot of games that you could sell to people. You didn't say anything about it. Is that on the Nintendo website? What? From Twitter. What? The controllers and stuff. Oh, that was on Twitter. Oh, look, Greg Miller posted something. Yeah, I see. Yep. Yep. Yeah, we see. What is that $80? That looks like it's the AC adapter. I can't get on Nintendo's website because... Yeah, it's all broken. Yeah. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Edition and Limited Edition. Uh, what is that? Switch. What a Switch case. That is a huge case. That is a nice looking case. Okay. It's um the Switch and okay, Docs... Yes. The Switch and Docs set. Oh, that's cool. Is 90 bucks. All right. So you can buy... A dock separately comes with a power adapter and HDMI cable. Also, you can get a set of two Joy-Con wheels for 15 bucks. Whose Twitter is this? Is this that Wario? Yeah, Wario64. Okay. That is... The dock, I'm, I'm into that. 
Ninety dollars is a good price for the dock because yeah. the dock is gonna uh, presumably be doing upscaling. Oh, here we go, baby. <laughs> That's cool. Bomb in R for the Switch. When do I get it? His face looks like an outlet. Click on a... I got eight players. Got him. That's rad. It's a Nintendo website. It's the 33rd anniversary. Nintendo's Japanese website. Go away. Go away. You don't want to... Somebody read this for me. Maybe I should have translated it. Yeah. Software. Ooh. What if I just change this to com? Look. Uh, translate. Super Bomb Man. Everyone, Bomba. That Bomb Man is powered up. Suggested so retail price to be determined. Damn it. March 3rd release. Oh, it's a launch title. Yes! That's cool. Yes! That's cool. Okay. Well, In Japan, though. Right. We don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, I like, mean, if the system's coming out worldwide. It's that, region free, Bob. It's region free. Why not say that? That's important. Yeah. This is something that people want to see. Yeah. At least me. Am I alone? Am I the only no, one who cares? No. Even if, you know, even if nobody cared about this, this is something they should have you know, clearly expressed they only showed a handful of games they didn't really, really show a whole lot of third party games the only ones they showed was skyrim and barely shin megami tensei any more bomb man <laughs> what well, i came here for something else apparently oh this box set apparently according to F chris kohler Subscribers to Switch Online will get a monthly free download of an NES or SNES game, and the SNES games will have online play. Whoa! That is something that you should say in the in the thing. Yeah. Okay. First off, where is he getting this information? Chris Kohler doesn't just make stuff stuff up. And two, yes, why don't you say that in the press conference? That is that that's something that would make people go crazy. Yes, that's unbelievable. First off, virtual console. Second yeah. off, online. Like, like that's crazy. Like, yeah, we have to pay, but at least it's like, uh, at least it's now it's comparable to Xbox Live and PS Plus. Yes, and, and you get free games. And yeah. imagine a free Nintendo game. That is that is insane. That is good stuff. Yes, that is a good decision, the Nintendo. That probably still costs eighty dollars on eBay right now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. With online multiplayer. Do you think? What do you think they're gonna charge for for online? I think sixty dollars. Anything more than sixty dollars a year, it's not worth it. Yeah. I don't know. Everything else is like weird pricing. Yeah. I'm trying to get on Nintendo's website. They missed that that two fifty though, man. That so close. Crazy. Oh wait, Wario's got the breakdown of the service up. This picture's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Wario 64 has got the breakdown of the online service up. Okay. Oh, it's, it's always. So, online gameplay. Um, service subscribers, you get online gameplay, online lobby, and voice chat. Oh. That's, no, that's a big deal. Nintendo's never had voice chat. Yeah, They've yeah, been yeah. very against it. Now they have it. That's something you should have said in the press conference. Well, that's why I thought it was interesting when he noted play online with people you don't know. He yeah. said it, he worded it weird. Uh, monthly game downloads, exclusive deals, and then everybody gets access to the shop, register, manage friends, share screenshots, social media, access the Nintendo Switch parent control. So it's interesting that this list doesn't have... Oh, monthly game downloads. Yeah. There it is. Okay. You get a free trial. Yeah. When you get it, so that's cool. This is cool. Like, this is something you need to say. Yeah. I, I can't believe they didn't, like, go over things like this. This is great. Wait, so didn't they say that it was for a month? That the trial was for a month? Yeah. The free trial, yeah. Because this says that it's through fall. Maybe you're only allowed to redeem it through fall. Maybe yeah. it's a month. Well, okay. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, no. I, I recall during the conference that they said that you would have to pay for it later. 
I don't know if they said a month. I think we're just assuming. I a month. think by a free th trial through fall, I think that means once fall's over, they're going to do away with the free trial. I don't know. Because that's weird to do know. away I, with I, it. I don't know if they would do that. that yeah, I don't know weird. if they do that for the holidays, you know? I know. I, I think it's. I think they're going to do what PlayStation and Microsoft do pack in a one month free, yeah. free trial, but I don't think you're going to have to pay for it until fall. Because yeah. this is for people who buy it early. Just like with the 3DS. Yeah. Except that was for a different reason. Eric King says, yo, 4chan leak was real. Yeah, 4chan nailed, like, almost everything. Uh, Polygon says, Nintendo Switch retail games are $60, and then they have pictures of yeah, That's the Zelda case. Yeah. That's this one right here. Yeah. It's a nice-looking case. It looks like a Vita case. Yeah. No, a PSP case. Yeah. It's clear. I thought it was going to be red. Yeah. We got more. We got Splatoon 2. Uh, arms. Rating pending. <laughs> <laughs> is that polygon yeah polygon i'm calling it arms is ao i'm calling it arms game of the year for sure somebody else said that in chat before well, polygon also said nintendo nailed the switch reveal showing off a strange and wonderful system that is a high resolution picture of that case let me tell yeah. you Oh, it's because I'm zoomed in so far. I'm surprised that the branding's like kind of limited. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. It's like top of the box. This is gonna be a tiny case. Yeah. Too. Those are cool. That's cool box art. Yeah. Yeah. These both have the same exact positions. Yeah. The same Fibonacci spiral going on here. That guy, you know Fibonacci. I've heard of him. My buddy Fibonacci. I, I am familiar with this sequence. <laughs> That's cool. So that means that ARMS is... This is looking like a retail game. Yeah. Wow. No one's going to buy that. <laughs> Everybody's going to buy it. Everyone's going to buy it. Yeah. I can't believe that. Everyone's going to buy ARMS. Switch uh, looks to use taller cases um, that look more like Vita cases than DVD or Blu-ray cases common on home consoles. Not clear what the dimensions of the case are. Taller as compared to yeah. 3DS. They're comparing it to 3DS. Yes. Any more information? Like, I guess we'll get more information as believe, the night goes on. I can't believe we're getting information. Oh, they, have the, they have the treehouse thing. Maybe they're gonna give more information there. Oh, That's yeah. tomorrow morning, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting up. Splatoon for that. 2 is up for pre-order. What? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get that. I need to know more about this Bomberman. That's really the only thing that I care about. Wario is over here breaking all the news. Oh, this is that. There's a much better picture of that. Yeah. That is cool. I might want that. Never play the game. So sad. Sad. That Master Sword statue is dope. And the carrying case is yeah. dope. Ooh. All right. Guys. It's been real. But I gotta go to bed. Right, I'm, um, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna sit here for a second and see if there's anything else that okay. I can talk about. Uh, I'll get that out of here. It's been a pleasure, AJ. As always, it's good seeing you, man. Um, yeah. Arms. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. We're gonna we're gonna get switches. We're gonna play arms. We're not gonna invite Bob to play. <laughs> sure. All right, everybody in the chat, you be good to each other. Have a good night. So Splatoon and Mario are up for pre-order on Amazon for forty-eight dollars, forty-seven ninety-nine each. Huh? That's that. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, that yeah, Amazon yeah. discount. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Amazon Prime discount. Okay, everything else looks pretty much the same. That's on my Twitter. I bought two because I figured it would be limited, and it wasn't. I mean, it is limited, uh, but, you know, right. gotta wait for the price to go up. Right. I bought two copies of Shadow pre Complex. I pre-ordered that before I could pre-order the console. What are you talking about? I said I pre-ordered Splatoon before I can even pre-order the console. Nice. Taco has an article. Subscribers to the Nintendo Switch's online service will get free games. 
That's um, really descriptive. That tells me everything. Like Sony and Microsoft have since learned, if you're going to sell a console and charge for pl online play, you need to sweeten the deal. So Nintendo will likewise be giving out free games to anyone subscribing to online Switch apps. That app Maybe stuff. That's why no packing. Yeah, I mean, uh, then you're getting a free trial, so you're gonna get a game. Yeah. I wonder if it if, if it's only free for that month. And I wonder if it is the NES and SNES. That would be cool if it was GameCube games. Free games are fun, especially when the SNES ones have been retrofitted for online play. That is fucking cool. I wonder if that's going to happen with the GameCube games. <laughs> yeah, I know. Unclear, though, whether these will be games you can download or keep, or simply made available for the month, then... Similar to Steam's free For weekends. Steam's pro okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's no, my question. No, that would suck. So, so are they saying like, like how PlayStation and Xbox handle it, where it's like download it for the month or whatever and then once you don't it goes away but if you download it it's in your library and you can that's what i'm that's library. what i'm thinking is is like you only play it for the month that would suck yeah damn i, I don't hope that's not the case <laughs> i don't know um you know i'd be cool with only being allowed to play it for the month if they were uh like premium games they have to be premium games like I think I think that if they're going to do that, it has to be something that's like a special thing. You know what I mean? Like they're not like, gi they're not giving away uh, like a link to the past for free. They're not going to give you Ocarina of Time for free. They're not going to give yeah. you uh, Super Mario uh, World for free. Like forever, I can't see that happening. But I could see them doing that for like a month. That would be weird, though. That seems weird because those games you can get for eight dollars. I know <laughs> less than that, like. So, I, so for them to be like, here, take this for a month, but Microsoft and like Microsoft and PlayStation, we give crap for giving us a twenty dollars game for free. Maybe, maybe they're seeing their business plan and liking it. Maybe, maybe they will just give it for free. It just seems I weird. Hope that, I hope that's the case. Maybe they're not even going to do virtual console games. Who knows? That's just something that all these you know publicists are just, uh, all these journalists are just like flinging out there. See. Or maybe that's a thing. May like, if they did that with new games, where it was like, here, here's a free new game that came out this month, and you can play it this month, and that's it, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Like, maybe that's a thing. Um, and then tie that in with, like, Club Nintendo or whatever, or my Nintendo now, and then say, like, oh, yeah, use your discount for this month to get the game that you tried last month. Type right. Of I think that they're doing good stuff. I just think that that was a very poor presentation of the good stuff that they're doing. Yeah, because nobody knows. They like if if all, if you're getting all your information from that presentation, you don't even know completely about the subscription service. Like for all you know, it's up in the air, and they don't know what it is. Right. Read this at me. Ultra Street Fighter Two exclusive. Oh yeah, this was at. Uh... Street Fighter 2 Final Challenge. The Final Challengers. Okay. That's all the information we got. Wasn't that on the... I think that was in the leak too. Something about Street Fighter. It was. And all of the journalists like wrote it off. They were like, no, that's yeah, not going to happen. Yeah, I was saying that. Um, what was the uh, Dr. Pan uh, Cupcakes dude on Twitter? He was like, there's like one thing that's legit in this in this leak. And then it turned out like the whole it was the whole thing. <laughs> everything. And then like the, the thing that he called out specifically was confirmed. Like that's why I was kind of surprised by the Splatoon 2 thing, because everybody was saying that Splatoon was just gonna be a port. But it's Splatoon 2. Yeah, that's crazy. It doesn't look that, that different. Is... But a lot of a lot more people are gonna play this Splatoon than they play the Yeah. And I mean, even that is crazy because Splatoon sold like five million. Yeah, it's gonna. I mean, a little over double that. I think it's. I think it, it's a bigger IP now. More people were interested in it. More people are gonna have switches than have Wii U's. I think at least. Yeah, I mean, they should hopefully. It's launching at cheaper than the well, kind of yes and no. It's launching at cheaper than the Wii U did. Yeah, yeah, it uh, is. Um, people are not gonna be happy at that about that price. Yeah, because everybody had their, their eyes set on that 250. 
Even I did. Yeah, I did too. Well, I assumed it was going to be 300 with a pack in game. Yeah. It looks like we're not getting that. We might get a pack in SNES digital game that we get to play for the month. Yeah. Well, we might. <laughs> We might get a free online subscription until the fall, so that might be a couple of free games, you know? But we, we don't know how that's going to work. And then what do they mean online? Like, am I playing F-Zero online? Or am I playing Link to the Past online? <laughs> like, what oh, you mean with, with uh, Super Nintendo? Yeah. Yeah. That, well, I'm hoping that there's online multiplayer with stuff like F-Zero, you know? Or like, yeah. uh, like a Mario Kart maybe they'll allow you to have a second player that's online. I just but, want Pokemon. I want Pokemon Gold and Silver and give me online with that. <laughs> that'd be interesting. They, they need to build a way to have a second player attach themselves via the internet. Yeah. You mean through, like, like through the game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like through the software? Oh, okay. And then how many switches did they say connect, can connect on Wi-Fi? Was it, it was like eight? Well, Bomberman's got eight players. Yeah, eight. I'm getting, I'm getting the eight. <laughs> Unless this means that uh, it's it's only Joy Cons. Oh wait, it is jo- TV well, mode one to eight, Ta- table mode one to eight, mobile mode one. Oh. Well, yeah. So this one might not be online. What Bomberman? Yeah. Oh, wait. Internet con- communication up to eight people. Never mind. Local communication up to eight people. So up to eight people can play. I don't know if that means you can ad hoc uh, eight of them together. I don't yeah. think so. I don't think this is going to have ad hoc. No, it has to have ad hoc. Yeah, because I don't I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it seems like it has to because it's like it's, the whole thing is that it's portable. So like you would you would want to be able to to bring the thing. Well, in the commercial, you... there they they were there yeah. was at least two of them connecting to each other. Right, but didn't they do? Oh no, 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 no. yeah, because there was in the commercial when they were in that RV or whatever, right? And well, no, that was only one of them in the RV. Switch. Yeah, and then they had. When they were playing the, the, the NBA game, there was two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Because I was thinking in the eSports arena. And it's like, well, that could be Wi-Fi. Yeah, it's Wi-Fi. I, I think you're only going to be able to ad hoc two of them together. Well, what about the 3DS? Is that only two? I know the original no. DS, you can do a bunch with Mario Kart. Can, I know you can do at least four. You can do at least four ad hoc on, uh, on 3DS. Because you can do even the... Uh, the free download thing, you know, on certain games where if you yeah. have a game, but everybody like else Mario is, Kart, yeah, it's like four, at least four. So, I guess that's just another technical detail we don't know. Yeah, God, they just don't like giving us numbers. <laughs> All right, numbers that we want to any last words? Rip Pokemon. Pokemon. Oh yeah, no freaking Pokemon. There was so much we didn't get. I, I mean, I'm not too surprised by Pokemon though, because like, it would be weird. It would be like, weird because we just got Pokemon. That just bought Sun and Moon. That would be and weird. Like, I'm gonna have my Pokemon game for at least 365 days, maybe E3. Yeah, that's. I was just gonna say that's an E3 thing. Mm-hmm. And then we'll also get a release date for the Mario game. Right. Damn, I really wanted to play that Mario game. That's that's like, I was most excited for that. Now I'm excited for Bomberman. Yeah, that's because you're a freaking fake Nintendo. You're a Nintendo scrub that doesn't like Zelda. I, do, I mean, I'm going to play this one, but I don't know how far I'm going to get. I mean, you kind of have to. There's like six launch games. <laughs> and we don't even know if Skyrim's a launch game. I, I don't think it is. It's happening. That guy well, said it's happening. It kind of ha- has to be, I think. Unless they want some, some Wii U flashbacks going on, because like, Everybody has that game already. Yeah. So unless they're going to do something to it, why wait? Wait for free? That'd be nice. That's not happening. That guy wouldn't let that happen. <sighs> All right. Thank you for hanging out, everybody. AJ, Fanatics 4. Bye. YouTube.com slash Fanatics 4. Yes, yes. Yes.
Oh, it's in the description of this video. AJ, thank you for hanging out. Guys, thank you for being here. Uh, I will ha I will be at the event tomorrow, so follow me on social media, and I'll be tweeting and twatting about it and Snapchatting about it. And then I will have a video up as soon as possible, and that might mean that my Tuesday video is going to be weird. I might... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But I'll have a video up for that. And AJ will also probably have a video up on his channel. Yep, 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 yep. Talk to you guys later. Goodbye. Goodbye.